the all rock and community the air and fuel of each other quits can react in here no more quits can influence more haku da vaktas who do the pressure is fit him in a rifle a deer on your mind me a bride he did a sicker deal Bonnie of Rogue in the Melanclia, Maragra er a UVF, is come home rule of husband. How dear their son are in refreshment. We do have to imagine what a huge issue Ireland had become. It was the great cause of the time. Children was invited to use his Asgard as a means of carrying guns. Bronton is posted over Ahar Mali, a Bahan Asgard. Mali supported him. That would have made it more likely that he would have done what he did. For a venture that they were on was the most extraordinary crew. There was his wife, Molly, who was uh, almost a total invalid. Molly had a disability because of an accident, ice skating, very young. She could be mobile, but she could never walk on her own. Mary Spring Rice was a great comfort to Molly, but she was very, very inexperienced in sailing. There were two stout Donegal men from the island of Gola. I honestly do believe that if Childers hadn't had those two Irish-speaking Gold Island men on the crew, I don't think that the voyage could have been completed. Tare Shachtene, Richard and Ronde Boulish and Tugge Garamainach, the gladiator, guard of the coast of the Benegin. Glacodar Erbord lost the Negaid rifle, Agus Trukamila Varagar. It was a hell of a job getting the stuff stowed below. Molly describes it superbly. Guns, guns everywhere. The swell of the sea making the boat lurch. No room to stand left safe on guns. It was all like a mad dream, with a glow of joy and a feeling of accomplishing something great at the back of it. How can Dowsa Gaelic art of creating animal than fobbling?